<laughs> you want to know how bad it was, Corey? It was pretty goddamn bad. Pretty goddamn bad. How, how bad was it? it? Made $445 per screen average. That's how fucking bad it was. <laughs> I was going to, no, I have a friend, Bo Cephas, I was going to go send to see that, but he was fucking a pig at the time, so I couldn't get him to break away from that. But Bo <laughs> Cephas. Bo Cephas got no Tephas. But uh, this movie, she said that she was sitting in front of like five white people. I'm going to assume that they were rednecks if they were white and seeing a Larry the Cable Guy movie. And she said that uh, two of them got up and walked out and never returned. Well, because you don't ever come back to a Larry the Cable Guy. You movie. never go into one the first and goddamn was, place. And that was a double threat movie. I mean, that was not only Larry the Cable Guy, but that was Larry the Cable Guy opposite Jenny McCarthy. I mean, this is, I mean, never before have epic titans of uh, the screen been brought together. With such an epic passion, you're trying to swallow that beer. <laughs> you may, you're going back to me, you spit this beer on my computer, man. Uh, so, well, that movie came in, I think, it's, it's not even on the list that I'm looking at right now. I came in like number 11 or something, or 12, something like it that. It, yeah, no, it, it, it did terrible, man. It came, I tell you what, it came in front of Charlie Bartlett, I think, which is the other movie that yeah, came Yeah, but in. Charlie Bartlett was on a on a very limited number of screens. I, I mean, think it, it was on a thousand something screens. I'm really? not. Charlie Bartlett is the one that had, uh, what's it, Robert Downey Jr. who plays a principal at a school where this got Iron Man. Yeah, Iron Man. That's all I have to say. Iron Man. Well, shit, uh, neither one of those movies really came in in the top 12, so I ain't going to worry about what place they came in because they're, they're very low, and at that point, they're insignificant. So, let's go ahead and move on to the big subject for tonight. The Oscar show. Hey, <laughs> what, okay, what? Fir first off, let's open up. How awesome was it that there was no opening musical number? Oh, thank God, man. I, the show's long enough as is, but I was like, oh, my God. They went right into awards. There, there's no stupid, you know, musical number. This they is know. great. By this point, they know. They, they know. They, yeah, exactly. I mean, so let me get your opinion of the Oscars overall. Well, first of all, John Stewart is a man god. Was he not the funniest motherfucker on the planet tonight? He was, it, he was very funny. I didn't like when he put too much polit uh, too much political comedy in there. I don't know how political much humor. that was him. Yeah, as much as it was, you know, uh, but uh, as much as it was the writers. I mean, come on, it was you well, know. Well, he's a very political guy. The Daily Show. He is. I, I figured I, that he I, interjected that himself. See, I felt that too. I mean, there was the you know there there was the the, the swipe at Republicans. Yeah, uh, yeah. And that I was kind of like that was kind of like oh fuck. That's him, you. man. Yeah, man. but. Um, but man, he. But aside from that, he was funny. That the the Norbit joke is probably the best Norbit joke ever. I told. like the fact that he knew when shit was bad on there, and he didn't be. He wasn't afraid to mention it. And I love that. What did he say about Norman? I'm gonna let you tell. Oh yeah, the the, the great line about. <laughs> and Norman I laughed my ass saying, off at that. Uh, uh, finally, far too often the Academy ignores films that are not good. <laughs> and you and you know what was so funny about that? When he came out, he said, "Yeah, uh, Norbit for best makeup," and you heard like five people in the back. And you know it was the people who did that. It, did you not know that he was going to, like, make a joke? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, why would you want to be known that you, you even know, in the well, work? Because the thing is, is Norbit was nominated for one award, and that was makeup. And you know what? The makeup was incredible. It was. You know, and what pissed me off is they showed turning him into the Asian guy, and that's not the impressive thing. I want to see the process, you know, sped up of turning him into a fat woman oh yeah because people you know we make jokes about the fat suit stuff but i mean they didn't just do i mean that that <coughs> pooch me. that pooch scene they do where he oh. lifts up that's oh. it's gross but at the same time it doesn't look it, fake no it's a no look people for everybody who made fun of norbit like cyrus like well it's no it's a terrible movie it's it, one of the worst movies no, of last not. year no in fact i even mentioned that it's not even on my worst 10 list the the point is to my worst ten list that if you think Norbit is one of the worst movies of the year, you did not see the worst movies of the year. I probably didn't see what you saw. No, I didn't see Daddy Gate Day Camp, and well, I didn't see Bratz. Oh, quick mention about Bratz. Somebody put up a, a, a forum that said it. If I get because I made a challenge, they said put up the Bratz review. I put up a forum that asked people to put it up. I said if you get twenty five members in there, I will put up the Bratz review. They got twenty five members, so I'll go ahead and put it up. And everybody loves that review for some reason. So there it is. Hey, because I am a man guy. <laughs> okay, I'm not gonna go I that know, far. I... No, it, it was a very funny review. It was. A, it was. It was. A, it... The combination of you and everybody wanting to hate that movie. The thing anyway. is, it's you're given gifts like that. Everyone's that people ask Carlisle, why do you go to these movies? Why do you go to these terrible films? And it's like, well, it can go one of two ways. You can either be surprised, and it can turn out to be a surprisingly good movie, which we've had those happen. Oh yeah. 
or you could be handed a review like that. Yeah, no, and, and that I, was yeah. I got to I suffered for two hours, but I got to, I've made people laugh time and again with that review. God bless them, you know. No, you people really you don't understand. Bad movies are gold for a, a critic. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, no, that that you you want to go see bad movies because those make the the most entertaining reviews. But it back to Norbit and if I had Do we really have to go back to Norbit? No, no, Can we go back to the Oscars? Just one more time. Just no, Norbit. I'm just letting people know Norbit. For all of you, said why was Norbit nominated? It in that one category there the that makeup. was well deserved. Oh yeah, no, the yeah, that was, was the, the most amazing thing about that movie, and the makeup was amazing. So let's go ahead and 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 now how let's you want to do, do this? a rundown? Let's I, I mean, just, what do you want to do there? Let's talk about the biggest surprises and and your favorite moments and the worst moments of the night. Like what was the thing that surprised you the most the biggest shocker because i can tell you what mine is okay first of all let me say that i got most of my predictions right but only by one <laughs> i did terrible at this uh at a lot of the little stuff that i didn't even know about best documentary best short documentary i never saw any of those the I, what the, the thing that surprised me the most is probably something that didn't surprise anybody else and for me, it was Tilda Swinton. No, no, what didn't that was the big shocker of the night. That's, yeah. I mean, everyone at the party I was at were floored by yeah. this. I mean, Tilda Swinton, she was floored. You look at her reaction. Yeah, no, she, she was. She probably <laughs> swore twelve different types of obscenities behind her hand because she was so handicapped out of it. Uh -huh. now, have you seen Michael Clayton? Yes, she. Yeah, I love that movie. Incredible in it. She oh, she really great. was. She she deserved the nomination. And w now, granted, she probably in that category against who she was against. I mean, she was against. Uh, I had Blake, Kate, uh, Blake. I had Kate Blanchett. Everybody my, had Kate Blanchett. Yeah, she was so good. She was the best part of that fucking movie. I'm not there. She, she. I was didn't see. I'm not there, it. but I saw a little bit of her performance. I was like, oh, she got. It. She, like I, I mentioned earlier this week, she acted against five guys playing the same <laughs> role. We're talking Richard Gere was one of them. We're talking mm -hmm. Heath Ledger was one of them. Um. All these great actors playing this role, and she did the best Bob Dylan of them all. It was funny because, like, the camera was on her, and they said, Kate Blanchett, and she just still sitting there because she knows she didn't get it. She's like, whoa, whoa fuck, what? They, oh, me? Oh, okay. <laughs> so, yeah, that was so that surprised yeah, you, too. Tilda Swinton, no. That was, I mean, she covered her mouth, and she just, you could tell that she had no idea that she, she, she didn't see it coming. Now, clearly, it was one of those awards that they gave her for her body of work because mm -hmm. Tilda Swinton, she's, this is not the best role she's ever done. No, no, but it's not. But I'm not going to argue with She's incredible in it, yeah. and she's been incredible in the past. Yeah. So that was the big shocker. Yeah. Um, and then, of course, you know, No Country doing so well. Was um, that a surprise, though? That wasn't su a surprise for me because well, I predicted that. That's the only thing I really got right was the Corn Brothers winning direction and the movie winning Best Picture. And that, did, but, did but it win she, adapted screenplay? It, yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's, that's, that's what all everyone those. saw. But yeah. everyone thought, everybody felt that the best picture was really not. It wasn't a shoe in this year. Like last year, everybody knew that you know, come on, it was going to be Scorsese, it was going to be The Departed. Mm -hmm. But this year, it was just it was a big wild card. It's like, what's going to be best picture? Uh, and sure enough, for them to kind of sweep those three awards like that, that was kind of a, a big unexpected deal. Yeah, I, I mean, enough. Like I say, so I think it was different. I think some people were they didn't know, and some people were kind of sure. I, it, you, it, the whole thing's a wild card. You're right, and that's guessing with me. But I made those guesses, and I was pretty sure about them. So I don't know. Yeah, and then there was, of course, the the ones that everyone knew. Diablo Cody won. Yeah, that wasn't a surprise. Daniel Day Lewis. Daniel Day Lewis. Uh, there, nobody was surprised at all. There was he, not even, a he wasn't surprised. surprise on anyone's face. It was like it was it was like they'd given him the award four hours before, and now we're just officially giving it to <laughs> I him know. now. Daniel Day Lewis got up there and just like fuck. Okay, uh, thank you. But that's how he was. No, 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 no. He wasn't like he really was touched by it, but he yeah. wasn't surprised. No, he wasn't surprised. Was surprised. He like shit. I but know the thing I got is, this. is, that's not just the best performance of the year. That's I gotta say that's the best performance of the decade. I can't think of any any performance in recent memory that has come close to being as great as that. I don't know. I'd have to do some thinking for the decade, but for the year, definitely, man. Well, you do it, but it's it is one of those best performance ever. He's performances. Uh, well, no, he really he transformed himself. Yeah. He looked like a different man yeah. in that role. I mean, I was mesmerized. That movie I didn't care for too much, but I'd see that movie anytime again just to see him. Yeah, I actually passed up seeing it projected in Blu-ray to come over here and record. I'm really like torn about that. Oh, come on, you've seen the movie already. Come I've on, seen it a couple you, times already. Yeah, you can get a. It'll be there. God damn. No, I know. Why do you think I'm here? <laughs> I'm, I'm just, just saying. You make it sound like you really fought to come over here. Like, fuck, 
fuck, what should I do? Dude, no, I was, our... I was disappointed that I couldn't stay and watch that because that's what everyone was doing after the Oscar party where someone's like, hey, I've got There Will Be Blood and Blu-ray. And everyone's like, let's play it. And I'm like, I got to go work. Yeah, no, that's cool. Uh, hey, I'm glad to have you here. Either way. Oh, I thought that was him snoring down there. I thought no, that was Jason. No, no, I thought he was dog. snoring while he was while he was working. Now let's 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 break away for a second and talk about what's exactly going on here. We're not recording in the Spill Studios right now. No, for no. Those of you who are regular listeners of a couple of cold ones, no, we're recording in your place because my neighbor, the Casa it, de la Carla. It was it, and I think it's fair because it, we do this stuff normally around one, two in the morning. And my, I got a citation. Uh, not, a, I didn't get a citation. I got a warning, saying for making noise at all time of the night, you're gonna get a fifty dollar fine if this happens again. Now, first of all, fuck them. Let's let's just say <laughs> fuck them because, <laughs> god damn it, it's two guys having a couple of beers in your bedroom at two in the morning. Is there really a problem with that? Yeah, it, no, it, what are you laughing about? Not like now, now he gets up and starts laughing. Now he gets up, yeah, he's like, ah, you guys are totally <laughs> oh, chugging the unless cock. Unless it's just the beer is just hitting him now. He's just laughing about nothing. Uh, I, I think that there's a there's two things that are going on here that we're both kind of right and wrong about. Actually, I'm gonna I'm gonna even take the blame mostly. It, I, it, the place is right next to somebody's room where they're sleeping, obviously. And for us to sit in there at two o'clock in the morning, we're the ones up at the at the odd hours of the night doing it. <laughs> I... And the walls apparently are thin enough, and so I, I just I, the thing really... is we've been doing this for how long, and there's never been a problem. And all of a sudden, yeah. some bitch moves it. I just got to go over there and leave a mushroom shaped welt on the girl's forehead. That's oh, just what I got to do. <laughs> what, a mushroom shaped welt? What you <laughs> what are you what are you going to use for that? <laughs> Gee, I... <laughs> Does that really require an explanation? I want to see that. I'm gonna put it on YouTube. This look, all I'm saying is, is that I have to figure a way around this because you're right. We're so used to doing this without any interruptions. I don't know. Maybe somebody wasn't living next door for a while. I don't know what's going on. All I know is maybe somebody just needs to get laid a little more often. Maybe so. Maybe, maybe we can. Maybe, maybe we can we buy her. To, maybe I, we need to send over the Coleman. Uh, I saw her. I don't think I could go that far. Anyway. I've seen the girls you've been with, dude. I I I, I doubt there's little that you can't go with. I guess if I put a paper bag over her head and draw some lips and some mascara on it, I could probably knock it out. And that's no, what look, you call Thursday. I'm joke. I'm joking with this woman. I don't know this woman. I, and she, I don't. I doubt if she's listening. But the thing is, is that I, we, we, we just have to. I have to talk to some people first, and I think that I've heard people next door before, so I know the walls maybe are kind of thin. So maybe we are keeping her awake. I don't know. I, I I'm trying to be fair and diplomatic about it. Well, let's get back to talking about the Oscars again. So, yeah, I know. We I just had to bring that up because we got, out. <laughs> we've got a snoring dog. we got a guy asleep on the floor. <laughs> he's like, he's asleep and he's still on his phone. I swear he's got his eyes closed and his fingers are still moving. Jason, you all right? Okay. Now, what what is it about the Oscars that you want to talk about next? You got a special moment from the Oscars that you want to, want to mention? Oh, you know what? That I don't know how everyone else felt. Uh, I know that we, like, where I was, the party busted into applause after we'd shouted boos and hisses when they cut the mic of the girl from once. From well, once? That was bullshit, man. That was some serious bullshit. But how awesome was it that that uh, um, John that, Stewart, that John Stewart came her back, back out and said, look, we're going to bring her back out to give her speed. That was just, that was such a great Menchie moment. Oh, man, let me tell you something. That, that song, I, I did updates all tonight. And people, thank you. We had we had a lot of hits tonight because of those updates, and that was cool. I'm glad you people stuck around. But I told people earlier that song. I'm so glad that song won because I saw that movie on a plane. Oh, and oh you I was, saw it on a plane? I saw it on a plane, and I and I was sitting on the plane crying just because of that song. Have you seen this movie? Pussy. Oh fuck you, man! The Mr. Romantic comedy up here. And for once, I'm like telling you how I felt about a very romantic movie. You, you cry. And you over, sit up here. You man, cry. Fuck dude. off, dude. You know this movie you was cry, it bitch. was tender, bitch. All right, you know whatever. No, no, no. Yeah, like, I know you're screwing yeah, dude, around, dude. All you have to—you don't even have to show me the Iron Giant. You just have to go super mad, and tears start rolling down my cheeks. Okay, I can actually cry for human beings, but you crying over a cartoon robot. What the fuck is that all? That's about? a Brad Bird cartoon robot, bitch. That's don't a, talk to me, animation motherfucker. Oh, goddamn geek.